Great, thank you, Peter. I have a uh, 602, um, so we'll call the meeting to order. Um, we're going with uh, old business, schedule vote from petition received April 10th. Anybody wanna start? I think it might be important for you to just read uh, yes. what I produced for the board. The board had directed me to consult with the attorney. So I think it might be and important I, just to read that. I would like to chime in real quick, Bill, um, after um, some more thought and, and raising some questions. I really feel as a board, we should be looking at um, our own separate legal uh, guidance. Um, mainly because this, depending on how this could go, uh, I think the attorney representing the supervisory union would then have a conflict. Um, and if that's the case, our guidance shouldn't be coming from them. And I have reached out to multiple attorneys, um, and I actually have uh, an appointment tomorrow with attorney David Kelly. Um, so that is something that I would urge the board for us to consider to have um, counsel that is. Um, not conflicted. Uh, so the attorney is not the SU attorney. The attorney is Wyndham's attorney. <laughs> but you can do, you can have as many opinions as you want. I am agnostic. It's up to the board. Okay. So why don't I start with what Bill sent me from the attorney? Uh, one, the attorney's advice is that the board, is this what you're talking about, Bill? Yep. The attorney's advice is that the board can warn the warning and alter what was exactly in the petition to capture the petitioner's intent and align with state statutes. Two, the board. No, 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 Beth. No, read sorry. directly from what the attorney, what I produced from you, what the attorney oh, sent. Oh, my Lord and butter. Um, Would you like me to read it? If you have it, yes, <laughs> thank you. This is from the attorney. Attached is a draft warning for a special meeting of the Wyndham School District to vote on the articles presented by the voter petition. Accepting the petition and rescheduling a special meeting to vote on the articles is consistent with the school board's past application of the statute in 2021 and honors the voters petition in 2023. Having once warned an article to close the school in 2021, it would seem highly inconsistent for the board to assert that this position, petition is improper. Although both articles needed to be slightly revised to comply with Vermont statutes, Vermont courts have generally held that the revision should be made by the governing body to give meaning to any petition articles. I have slightly revised both Article 1 and Article 2 as presented so that both articles are consistent with the statute. The question before the board, one, does the board identify the intent of the petitioners as warning a vote to close the school and pay tuition? If yes, then the draft warning is ready for final and added dates. If no, then you should instruct the petitioners that you did not identify the intent of the petition and reject the petition and ask them to clarify. Perfect. Yeah, I disagree with that legal guidance. Um, so that's where I stand on this and the conversations that I have had. Um, that That's something that I, would, I already don't agree with. Um, so... I move that we consider uh, getting a second opinion on some legal advice regarding this. Abby, I don't mean to be mean, but do you have a law degree? <clears throat> There's a, mo a motion on the table, Russ. There's no motion on the table. We're discussing. I move to get a second opinion. Oh, you're, you're moving, okay. From another attorney. Right. Okay. Can I get a second on the motion, please? Uh, I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? Um, I, personally, I'm, yeah, I'm a little confused because um, this uh, petition is not like the one we got in 2021. And um, I'm just, I'm having a hard time understanding. And, and I just, as the chair, I just don't want to be, you know, caught out and looking like a complete and utter idiot here. So I, 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 I appreciate that a petition came in, but I just need to be square with everybody that's involved. 
Um, and, and the fact that the representation that's currently being provided, as much as it's grateful that they're giving information, to receive it two minutes before the meeting or 20 minutes before the meeting, um, I haven't even really been able to digest that. So I, I again, I think that we should take a second opinion. Um, I am having a conversation with an attorney tomorrow and can share that with the board. Legally, we are, as we have been told by the Secretary of State, we have 60 days. So the rush to make this happen, we, this can still happen within 60 days. I'm not saying that it's not going to. I just want to make sure that we're getting our questions answered by just a difference of opinion, because I'm really, I'm really not seeing how that makes sense. Um, yeah, Abby, I'm I have the same thing. I didn't get this until uh, five. It came in at four, but I was on a tractor with my phone on me. But unless you know, with the tractor on, I couldn't hear it. So I'm also a little bit. Um, so real quick, um, there's somebody in the room with their hand up. Um, John Began. Um, I, I this is something I'd like to say to Russ in particular. Yes. Um, Russ, I noticed that when you just read the attorney's opinion, you included the words, the intent was to close the town school and allow uh, children to go, to choose other elementary schools to go to. And that um, really the primary effect of the petitioners are asking seems to be to close the town school. And then the sec the consequence of that would be um, kids could, could have choice to go to a different elementary school. Um, but the petition doesn't say that. It only includes um, the words free choice. It doesn't state that the town school has to be closed because in Vermont, you can't do both at the same time. So I feel that the petition, the way it is written, is really disingenuous and, and is trying to kind of go through a back door to get the town school closed without saying that clearly. And I think you owe it to the voters to say what you want clearly and honestly. John, may I speak? Yes, sure. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the petition that's worded that we, the undersigned legal voters of the town of Wyndham, petitioned the school board to warn the following article and to vote at a special meeting within 30 days of receipt of the town clerks. And the first article is to adopt school choice effectively July 1st, 2023 for grades one through, th one through six. And that implies closing the school. And may, may I just point out there is no agenda item saying public comment. So this is a discussion between board members, not members of the public. There is no item on the agenda. It, the agenda has not been modified to allow public comment. And we are here as a board to discuss the petition that was submitted to the town clerk on the 30th. And there's a motion on the floor. Okay, yes, sorry, I was, we uh, we were having discussion. So, okay, then that's my bad. Um, so uh, other than I saw Bill, you had your hand up. Uh, no, I was just uh, during your discussion period. I just want to make it unbelievably clear. This is a board decision. You directed me to get you legal advice. I got you legal advice. You don't like the legal advice. I encourage you to go off and get whatever advice you want to get. You're just going to have to warn another meeting, come back to this same place and make a decision about whether you are going to accept the petition or not. I just want to be super clear. It's a board decision. I am recommending nothing. I'm giving you the advice that I was directed to give. You guys need to decide. Okay. Thank you for that. Sorry, John. I didn't think about that uh, public comment. Sorry about that, Russ. Um, okay. So uh, any other discussion from the board members? Yeah, I, I think making the decision to delay and get another opinion is foolish. I think the board doesn't need to spend the money. The statutes are on the side of the petitioners. And I think trying to delay and delay and delay is just going to cost the school district more and more money. I think it's it's a prudent to move forward and to set a date. 
Okay, thank you, Russ. Abby, did you have anything else? No, that uh, I that I have an appointment with um, uh, attorney David Kelly tomorrow. So um, as far as getting some some more guidance on on this, I'm really concerned with the timing of the petitioners. It seems that this may have um, somewhat been intentional in trying to stir the pot with uh, staff and families and people in this school of really getting uh, folks upset. Uh, why it would wait until now to have a petition come through um, is, uh, it's frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating to think that there's so many positive and wonderful things going on and moving forward. Um, yes, there is change, but we have a lot of great things happening. And I, again, with the motion we have on the floor to get legal guidance, I want someone who's gonna be able to talk with us as a board. Um, having to put Bill in the middle, Bill, I appreciate you doing that. But at the same time, um, there's questions that we have every right to ask and get representation that's appropriate. Um, so if, uh, if the board so moves and this is passed, I will happily bring forth some, um, some further information from um, another attorney and they may or may not have a difference of opinion, but I think it's worth looking into. Thank you. Um, so just real quick, can we just um, just clarify the motion so that everybody is, because I've, I've found in the past with the wording from 2021, people get super confused um, with the wording. So let's just go over the wording again, real please with this motion. I move for the board to get a second opinion on legal for legal counsel regarding the petition. Okay, um, uh, if, is there any other uh, discussion? Yes, the discussion. The discussion I have is who's going to pay for the legal opinion. I don't think it's prudent for the town to spend more money on an opinion that we already have. I think if a board member wants to support that, then maybe they should pay for it themselves. Uh, Bill, do you have any uh, anything to add to that? Uh, well, uh, that's that is different than the discussion on the going to seat. My uh, the, my only question would be if the uh, Motion needs to be uh, amended uh, to include that the Wyndham School Board would be paying for it. Um, normally, we would assume that the Wyndham School Board would be paying for it, but in this case, as you pointed out, um, it might be important to uh, amend the motion to include to seek legal additional legal advice at Wyndham School District expense. That would be my suggestion. Okay, and that's just an amendment that needs to be made. Um, I'm happy to make that amendment. Um, any other guidance, Bill, with that? No, I think Abby's motion is very clear. I think Russ just brings up a point that probably it would be had have added clarification that if you added that language, then it would be crystal clear that the Wyndham School District would be paying for it. Can we add that language then? Are you okay with that, Abby? It has been added. Okay, anybody else? Okay, hearing none, then we're gonna call the question. Um, all those in favor of getting uh, another opinion, please signify in favor by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Nay. Okay. So okay, you since, since you have uh, your, so your agenda item was not addressed, because you're gonna receive legal advice makes complete sense. I'm mm -hmm. sure Abby will put that in the minutes appropriately. And then uh, chair, we will, the three of us, the other two board members and myself will just need to hear back after the three of you decide to meet with the attorney, you'll have to do it at a warned meeting. So just keep us in the loop about when, after Abby meets individually with the attorney, when is the attorney going to meet with you all? We'll just need to know. Okay, so Abby, you got that. Perfectly clear. Yes, thank you very much. Great. All right, thank you. I guess okay. that's it. Um, okay. Somebody, uh, chair, will need to let the town clerk know that whoever turned in the petition, that uh, the board did not rule on the petition tonight, but is seeking additional legal advice. 
We are seeking additional advice. I will uh, send uh, Ellen an email uh, this evening. Excellent. Great. All right, everybody. Uh, uh, motion to adjourn. Seconded. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Uh, hearing none, we're adjourning at 617. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bill. Thanks All right. For thanks a lot, Thank guys. you very much.